I swear by God, this time I'm going to scale ye. I'm a spurring to reach the very top. Though if I fall, yon thistles may impale me. I'm not a lad whom fear can... Stop! I want to touch the sky. Lord, this roof is high. Still it's thrilling to be up here where the birds fly free. And nothing beats the sound of nothing but the salt wind from the sea. Clean and pure, as sure as my name is John Muir. Come away down from that roof, you fighting, biting, climbing pagan. Go be in your room and dinner come out. We're going to America the morn. Why? In America, a man can worship as he pleases, where the streets are paved with gold. I want to touch the sky, climb to heights where I've never been and average men will never know. But sidewalks paved with gold don't sound like anywhere I'd care to go. Don't know why everybody's bidding home goodbye. touch the sky Lord this mast is high still it's thrilling to be high up on the spray and there's nothing like a hurricane for play that's for sure as sure as my name is John Muir I told you to a gale's a bonny lark I father you're not a titter a wit about you, John, and I'm going below. I want to touch the sky, where the falcons fly, a wilderness where no man dares to go. Beyond the cares of all the millionaires, as close to God as any Kirk I know. Or a mountain. Sure, as my name's John. I think I'll walk a thousand miles or so. From Indiana to the Gulf of Mexico One more Sabbath day, three years long One more chance to hear nature's song 
before I grow too old to run out of control. And civilization takes its terrible toll. I think I'll walk a hundred miles today by the wildest, leafiest, and least trodden way. The average man can settle down in the gloom and hunger of some dark town. But I'll take the rolling hills of Ohio And the caves of Kentucky don't seem far to go There goes a useful, practical man Getting through life as best he can Worrying how to make ends meet But me, I choose to be a tramp Meandering from camp to camp Carried by the spirit to the wilderness John Muir, Earth, Planet, Universe is my address. I took a thousand miles to realize everything that blooms or breathes or flies. We're all made of the same dust, man and tree and mountain, covered by the same sky. Same fountain. Where'er we go, from cradle to tomb, we all dwell in a house of one great room. Sailing on the same celestial sea, in a circle of eternal unity. So I went out for a walk in the morning of my years and decided to stay till sundown. For in going out, I was really going in. Did I hear you say somewhere wild? Well, my friend. You sure come to the right city Watch your step though, it's a pity Most our streets are three feet deep in dung But that don't matter, trust me boys When it comes to earthly joys Believe you me, your flings can all be flung Cause there's nowhere as wild as San Francisco That's not what I... You'll be fortune's child in San Francisco But I don't want... For celebrating life and such with women You can more than touch your more Than beguiled in San Francisco Thank you, but I don't want a woman But... And Chilwell's had enough cats to last him a lifetime Let's go, Chilwell Well, 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 where are you gentlemen headed? Somewhere wild Wild, eh? Have I got the spot for you You may think you've seen it all But the El Dorado Camlin Hall's the biggest and the finest in the West Faro tables and roulette We've even got a string quartet You can bet your bottom dollar at the best Trust me, there's nowhere as fine as San Francisco No casino good as mine in San Francisco Every poor man can get rich Or drunk don't really matter which Water turns to wine in San Francisco Thank you, but I don't drink. I do. Well, then it's up to me to save you from yourself. But let's go, Chilwell. I knew you'd turn that sleazy proposition down. Why, gentlemen like yourselves need culture. Gambling's just a shoddy waste of time. But Ada Isaac's Mencken is sublime. Mazeppa is her favorite role, where Ada bears more than her soul. Trapped to the back of a fine white horse, scantily attired, of course. Her dark hair blowing far behind. Believe me, boys, you'll lose your mind! I should think so. The poor woman must be covered with saddle sores. Let's go, Chilwell. Chilwell! Damn it, man, get a hold of yourself! There's a bull in the bear fight, two streets down! No, thank you! The circus just pulled into town? No! No ordinary guy will do. Have I got the locale for you?
around you chill well Nature's calling everywhere Come and see the glory Smell the mountain air Come revel in the wilderness Hear the water song Come and make your heart whole and your weary spirit strong. Climb the mountains, get the glad tidings. Nature's peace will fill your soul like sunlight to Clear mountain breeze, bear sorrow away, at least for today. Climb the mountain, see the wonder around you, hear the cry. Lift your eyes to the sky, watch the clouds rolling by, your spirit will be eternally free. See the leaves turn and go. said there's not a soul on earth that shouldn't climb them, but given your last performance, I think you may be the exception. Tell me I didn't hear those words, condescending insult at best. Not that I care, nor am I aware of her ankles, her thighs, or her... Why not? What? Why won't you leave the mountains? Oh. I can't see myself anywhere else where I fit into the circle of things. Up there's the only place life 
or I make any sense at all to me. And I can't see myself anywhere but the ranch. Creatures and trees grow, bear fruit, age, die, and it all starts over again. Until the soil gives out. My father has a doctorate in horticulture, Mr. Muir. We seldom make a desert of the backyard. Good God, I've stooped to lecturing. Go on, John, alienate her. Pontificating Herodin. But you'll regret it later. It's got to be the altitude, the air, the time of day that makes me feel more. I don't know with every word you say. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's got to be the way that we came close to tragedy. That's making you more I can say Than what I thought you'd be So, your father runs a ranch? Well, I run it. He's retired. Uh, then you've studied horticulture as well. No, I learned it from him. I trained to be a concert pianist. I've never been to a concert myself. I didn't ken. Why people set up artificial before natural music, man's trumpery inventions before God's great works. I'm well aware of your opinion, Mr. Muir, but thank you for reminding me. Good God, she's quoting me again, and I sound like a pompous ass. Is there something more, John, you can say to aggravate the last? That's it, Louis. Tell the man off. Let him know you're a pain in the... But I shouldn't have said that. A woman who can't keep a civilized tongue in her head no matter what. No, I shouldn't have said that. It's got to be the altitude, the distance from the ground that's made me feel more. I'm not sure of my heart is sanely Oh, I, I don't have the words. Words are nothing. It's the sight of it that matters. It must be the humidity that's got to me this way that made you seem so. I don't know. I want. Well, I can't say It's got to be the heat Or we've been in the sun too long Cause suddenly No, that can't be Oh God, I'm No, that's wrong I'm just who I have always been Content Yes, of course. You're right. Miss Strensel? Yes. Nothing. When a man is at a deleterious impasse Between abiding love of nature and a lass His heart's at higher purpose, so to speak and his flesh is growing weaker by the week At the merest thought of her His palms perspire He must set his sights on distant heights Climb a hundred days and nights Then if your man's still riddled by desire Well, damn it all! He'll just keep climbing higher! By God, 
I have seen valleys in my life, but none as lovely as this. There's none like a Scotsman for seeing beauty. But it does remind me of a woman. Be right back. Where are you going? Higher. Ha, ah, there's the cure. An icy covered, unclimbable cliff. I have to inch my way with utmost care. Scan the rocks for every seam and fissure there. With the footholds few and far between, then halfway up, no footholds to be seen. Then, by instinct or an angel, I don't know, I'm shown exactly where to go. Though the odds were overwhelming, I would plummet. I leap with wild abandon to the summer. And I see her face and realize the rainbow was brighter through her eyes. The sunlight was clearer, living was dearer. To my terror I find the woman still on my mind. Oh, there you are. I feared you're lost. Not yet. What? Have you considered painting that peak over there? By Jove, man, we are Vera breathers in nature. Then I'll leave you to your work. Where are you going now? Higher. I thought you already did that. Not high enough. When a man is in a deleterious state, between abiding love of nature and his fate, when he's climbed the highest mountain, so to speak, but resolve is growing weaker by the peak. If on a glacier he's still burning with desire, he must set his sights on further heights another hundred days and nights. And if his bloody heart is still on fire, well, damn it all, there must be somewhere higher. Ah, a storm atop a tree whipping in the wind, that'll fix her. To choose the tree with utmost care. From the pine tops bending, twisting in the air. Swirling round in ecstasy, singing nature's melody. Till the wind dies and I'm at peace. Now my nagging thoughts of her will cease. Though the odds were overwhelming, I climbed higher than the pitfall and temptation of desire. Then I see her smile, the way her hair shines. To my despair, she's drawing nearer, her memory clear. Oh, life's unkind, the woman's still on my mind. What kind of woman would call herself Louie? Well, I don't suppose she had a choice. Still, it's odd, and she's odder, and stubborn, and truly. Oh, God, I swear I hear her voice And I see her smile Now she's laughing as well My God, I'm in love And by God, love is hell But the world's somehow brighter My heart's somehow lighter The longer I find Though I'm dire disinclined Out of all humankind A woman still on my mind Love is not a cage 
love is not a chain Love is not a law or an order to remain by my side Whenever we're apart, you're still lying next to me Closer than my heart Love is like a river and rivers ever I'd say a man who excels in most every way Except grace and polish, not to emphasize his faults But politics is like a dance You have to sway with elegance Dip and turn, don't take a stance Every step is false In a political waltz One, two, three, one By Jove, Louis, this is torment I hear Muir's starting a conservationist group The Sierra Club but what does he expect them to do? Make Muir an even bigger nuisance than before! <laughs> <laughs> Muir is a man of conviction, I'd say. Growing more powerful every day. But he's rigid, intractable. His speeches are assaults. But politics is like a ball. We whirl and twirl, and if we stall, change our tune, and one and all, execute some somersaults in a political waltz. So we waltz around our principles with ease, round the truth, round the future in a breeze. Waltz around the controversy, then waltz into office again. Two, three. My God, there's that bastard feeling. That bastard is going to be the next mayor of San Francisco, John. Do try to get him on your side. The man would sell his mother, Louis. I'll not give him the chance to sell me out as well. 
Muir is a man of great influence, I'd say Growing more arrogant every day A crusader, fanatical, not to emphasize his faults But politics is agabot, where enemies hold hands a lot But Muir and me, no, I think not A fanatic never holds for a political once As we waltz around some perfectly sincere When industry calls, sell it out There's a lot of years we have to thank Have you given any more attention to my thoughts on Hetch Hetchy? Hetch Hetchy is part of the new national park As we waltz all the way to the bank But San Francisco is critically short of water And the man who can solve that problem Will garner more than a few votes It sure is never time Hetchy's an ideal site for a dam and reservoir. You'd have to petition Congress for the water rights. It's had to compare to the profit to be made. But what's one valley when a city's at risk? One, two, three. Hetch Hetchy. My thoughts exactly. We walk around and say the good the sound of the
battle, John. A war of words to wage. Tilt at windmills once again. Try not to feel your age. Try at playing politics. Argue and cajole. Try to convince the world a valley as a soul. They may as well dam up the people's cathedrals, for no holier temple has ever been consecrated by the heart of man. Mr. Muir is a very poetical gentleman, but he'd sacrifice his own family for the preservation of beauty. He considers human life very cheap and the works of God superior. Mr. Phelan speaks with the confidence born of a deep and substantial ignorance. What is man if not a work of God, superior to the works of God? Try to hold your temper, John. Try to keep your head. Try not to raise your voice as you try to wake the dead. And if at first you don't succeed, make another try. A valley mustn't die. There are a thousand places in the Sierras as beautiful as Hetch Hetchy. And its conversion will simply mean we'll have a lake where there was once a meadow. What use is a national park if a nearby city can annex any part of it at will? Try another letter to Washington and then Try another senator, try lobbying again Try a better strategy, try to find the strength Try to find the heart and soul to go the final length The Raker Bill proposes the damning of Hetch Hetchy for San Francisco's use Redouble all your efforts, John, and try to stay alive another season Listing reasons why a valley should survive Write a speech, don't preach, try to sound inspired Try not to cough, try not to shake Try not to feel so tired Dear Helen Those damned fools in Congress passed the Raker Bill if Roosevelt were still president, he'd veto it in a second. But I'm not sure about Wilson. In any case, I'll be glad when it's over. For it's killing me. Try to keep on keeping on. Try. not to grieve for all you'll never see again try not to hear the sound of trees and flowers crying as one by one they drown as water fills the sky and steals away the sun as helpless creatures die try explaining what we've done man is lord of all
a man to measure his life, Midge, by what he's won or what he's lost? I think Mother would say, by how he lived it. I want to touch the sky. By Jove, it's a beautiful valley, Johnny. The walls are nay near as high, but in beauty and charm it surpasses even Yosemite. And sketch it with care, Willie. Preserve it forever. Who are you talking to? Ghosts. Most of my friends are, you know. Dead and gone. But horses were meant for the use of mud, and... You can't stop progress. Right, Papa? It's just the past dancing in me head. Now, go home to your bairns and tell them their grandpa loves them. I love you, Papa. And I you. Always. Death is a kind nurse, saying, Come, children, to bed and get up in the morning. A gracious mother calling her children. Louis? You did a lovely job with the roses, John. They've never looked happier. What? Of course, they've never had all those kilowatts illuminating them before, but then you never were a man to do things halfway. And have you come to denigrate me lighten then? No. I've come to take you home. I failed, Louis. All my gloriouses and intenses couldn't save one wee valley. All the plant people and animals gone. Forever. Not forever, John. Just for now. And you saved other valleys. You may have lost the battle, but you won a war. I've won nothing that can't be taken away tomorrow. But it won't be. Words live forever, John. Beyond the Pinchos and the Phelans, beyond you and me. For generations and generations to come. Good Lord, I forgot to edit this one. Climb the mountains, get the glad tidings. Nature's peace will fill your soul. Walk the woods, smell the air, and the sorrow and care of living willies. Blown away with the breeze. change a word. <laughs>